coming up on Fresh View with Pastor Inkechi Ene. Listen to the Word of God. Not just have a cursory read of the Word of God. You've got to pay attention to the Word of God. And when you do that, faith is guaranteed to be invited into your life. Games, Career Day, Speak Out with Pastor Nkechi Ene, and so much more. From the 24th to 28th of July 2019. I used to be very shy coming out in public, but now I'm so free with everybody. Registration forms are available at the Carpenters Team Church and the church office. Also available online at www.tcsquared.org. Deadline for form submission is the 30th of June, 2019. The camp fee is 12,500 Naira with the following benefits. Transportation, comfortable accommodation with personal space, access to sporting activities, three healthy meals and snacks daily, barbecue and campfire nights, etc. Remember, this registration is open to church and non-church members. For sponsorship and inquiry, call 080-331-26081 or 0805-614-0294. Team Camp 2019. Cool stuff on the right track. Hello, this is New Day, New Things, New Rems Part 2. New day, new things, new realms. We talked about a prophetic word and we shared that proclamation yesterday in part one. And now, you know, we're going to go further in this message. We said a new day is something that God ushers into your life. And I believe that through this prophetic message, a new day is being ushered into the lives of our partners and our viewers here on Fresh To You. We looked at some definitions of the word new, Day, things, realms. We found out that in this, in this new day, God is bringing new things in every domain of activity that you find yourself. The first lesson we then looked at was we said lesson one, you must walk into this new day. And to do that, nugget one, you must hear the proclamation. And we said God is always announcing new things to his children. It's always, always movement with God. It is never static. It's dynamic. We said brighter and brighter. That's how God deals with us. And God doesn't sneak up on you in this new day. He wants you to know of it. And still following that thought, we said that God declares things even before they spring forth. He tells you about them even before there's any visible manifestation that those things are in your life. And it's the Holy Spirit that is the, the vessel or the agent most times through which he tells us these things he wants to do in our lives or has done and he wants us to experience in our lives. Now the question is, are we listening? Are we paying attention? We're talking about hearing the proclamation as the first nugget into walking into this new day. So child of God, I put the question to you. Are you listening? Are you hearing? Are you paying attention? Proverbs 4 says, my son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Pay attention. Give attention to my words. Attend to my words, the King James says. What does that word attend mean? It's a word that means to prick up the ears, to hearken to attend, to give heed, to regard, to incline your ear. Huh? What are you saying? I'm paying attention. I'm listening. In the English, that word attention means a concentration of the mind 
on a single object or thought, especially one, pref listen, preferentially selected from a complex. There are many other things you can select, but you preferentially select something you want to give attention, concentration of mind to. So there are options, child of God, there are always options for your attention. Always options. But God says, give attention to my words. Preferentially select my word out of all the noise, all the other options. Select my word to give concentration of your mind to. It says, select it for a complex with a view to limiting or clarifying receptivity by narrowing the range of stimuli. A capacity to maintain selective or sustained another important word selective is one sustained or define attention selective and sustained concentration observant care and consideration child of god give attention give selective and sustained concentration of mind now he says give attention to what to my words, God speaking, it's awesome to have a pastor who prophesies and a pastor who speaks the word of God and who speaks things over you. But those words have got to be the word of God. So not give attention only to what your pastor says. Give attention to what the prophet says. If they're not prophesying what the word of God says and what God says, then no attention should be given. He says, give attention to my words. That's why in these last days, you've got to always check back to the word of God, whatever somebody tells you. People come to you, call themselves pastors, prophets, say all kinds of weird things to you, and you give attention. You select that out of the mist. You don't go back to your Bible. Some Christians don't even own Bibles to check. Is it my words being the words of God? Give attention. So the question is, to walk into this new day, you must hear the proclamation and are you listening? Are you listening to my words? You know, an example of being inattentive is when you're in a place and um, the, TV, the TV is on. You know, you know this background TV business. The TV is on. Uh, some announcement is going on. You're picking up, they're announcing something about something going to happen the next day. But you're not listening. It's playing in the background. Then someone calls you and says, did you hear the announcement that was made on TV about what is happening tomorrow? You say, yeah, I heard something like that, but I didn't really pay attention to it, sadly. That's how a lot of us deal with the word of God. Even when we're in church and the word is being preached, we're not giving concentration of mind to what's being said. Our minds are everywhere else but you know, right where, where we are physically located, or on our devices, or talking, or something. Give attention. Give attention. Even now, watching Fresh TV, you can be multitasking. This is the era of multitasking. We can do so many things. Fresh TV is going on. You're watching. You're on your laptop. You're on your iPad. You're playing with your children. 30 minutes of the Word of God is all you need and all you get from Fresh TV. Pay attention. Give attention. Give concentration of mind. That's how you walk into this new day we're talking about. So God expects the child of God to give attention to his word. Why is it so important to give attention? Because when you hear attentively, that's when you believe and your faith comes to you. Faith comes by hearing, the Bible says, Romans 10, 17. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, Romans 10, 17. That's what the word of God says. So when you give attention, you actually do yourself a favor, giving attention to the word. Many of us spend time praying for faith. Oh Lord, send me faith. Give me faith. Grow my faith, Lord. Help thou, you mean to speak King James, help thou my unbelief. You can help your unbelief by giving attention to the word of God. When you give attention to the word of God, you begin to believe the word of God and your faith gr grows. Faith comes by hearing. There's no other way. It's by hearing the word of God. People can say, oh, people can lay hands on you to have faith. 
They can lay hands on you to receive faith. They can inspire you, but you've got to go into the word of God. Listen to the word of God. Not just have a cursory read of the word of God. You've got to pay attention to the word of God. And when you do that, faith is guaranteed to be invited into your life. And with faith, all things are possible. You please God and you begin to live the way you're expected to live as a believer. So stepping into a new day is actually an act of faith. That's what it is. The Bible talks about the full assurance of faith. And, you, know, you know for sure and for a certainty that what God has said about you in this new day, even before it springs forth, remember from yesterday, even before there is a visible manifestation, you know, you have a full assurance of faith because you've given attention to the word of God. Lamentations 3.22 says, Though the Lord's, through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not, they are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. So the new day displays the faithfulness of God. And when you give attention to God, and your faith grows, and you step into the new day, you're actually declaring that you believe that our God is a faithful God. Our God's faithfulness is great. And can be counted upon yesterday, today, and even tomorrow and forever. Glory be to God. So nugget one was hear the proclamation. Nugget two, we're talking about lesson one. How do you walk into this new day? Nugget one, hear the proclamation. Nugget two, repeat the, very important now, repeat the proclamation. Prophesy with the prophets. Nugget two, Repeat, child of God. Open your mouth. Use your mouth. Your mouth is so powerful. Stop misusing your mouth. Repeat the proclamation. Repeat the prophetic word. Repeat the declaration God said to you. Will I not declare it to you? I will declare it. It's a new day. I'm here to do a new thing. And I will tell you about it. Now don't just listen to him attentively. When you listen and you hear, now repeat. Begin to prophesy. With the prophets begin to say what God has said about you. Glory be to God. Look at Isaiah 48, verse 6. You have heard, see all this, and will you not declare it? You see the progression? When you hear, the purpose of your hearing is for you to begin to speak it. You have heard, will you not declare it? I have made you hear new things from this time, even hidden things. And you did not know them. They were created now and not from the beginning. And before this day, you have not heard them, lest you should say, of course, they knew them. So before you heard them, you didn't know them. But when you heard them and you knew them, now declare it. Begin to repeat the proclamation. That's another way to walk into your new day. Hear the proclamation, repeat it. You know, you can never enjoy the fullness of the new day you haven't spoken about yourself. I'll say it again. You can never enjoy the fullness of a new day you haven't spoken about yourself. You experience the new day you speak about. And the new day you speak about is the new day you have heard God speak about and given attention to. I'll say it again. You can never experience the new day, the new things, in these new realms, if you haven't spoken about it by faith. And the things you speak about by faith are the things you have heard. Remember, remember the proclamation I read yesterday? You say and I say, double-edged sword. God, you speak and then I speak. That's how you walk into the new day. You repeat the proclamation. What does God say about you? Awesome. Now what do you Say about yourself, child of God. That's what's really important. Look at what happened to Saul here in 1 Samuel 10. Samuel speak. After that you have come to the hill of God, where the Philistine garrison is, it will happen when you have come there to the city that you will meet a group of prophets coming down from the high place with a stringed instrument, a tambourine, a flute, and a heart before them, and they will be prophesying. Note that. They will be prophesying. 
then the Spirit of God will come upon you and you will prophesy with them and be turned into another man. They will be prophesying. He wasn't turned into another man while they were prophesying. It is when he began to prophesy with them that he was turned into another man. You can sit under your pastor prophesying over you for years. If you leave his presence and go back and say the opposite, and you don't say what the word of God says or what God has said through him, you will not be turned into another man. You will not experience the new day. They were prophesying. But go along, listen to them, and prophesy with them. Say what they say God says about you. Say what God says about you. Say who God says you are regardless of what you see or what you feel. When you do that, you will be turned into another man. And let it be when these signs come to you that you do as the occasion demands. For God is with you. Verse 10. When they, when they came, still for Samuel 10. When they came there to the hill, there was a group of prophets to meet him. And the Spirit of God came upon him. And he prophesied among them. And it happened. When all that knew him, <laughs> woo, when all that knew him, formally, not that child of God. That's what happens when you walk into a new day. You leave your formally and something new happens to you. When you prophesy, you turn into another man. Formally saw that he, who knew him formally, saw that he indeed prophesied among the prophets. That the people said to one another, what is this that has come upon the son of Kish? Is Saul also among the prophets? Then a man from there answered and said, but who is their father? Therefore, it became a proverb, is Saul also among the prophets? And when he had finished prophesying, he went to the high place. May it be a proverb about you. Are you also among the prophets? Hmm. Look at you, sister. Do you think you're a pastor? You're just talking like a pastor. No, I'm talking like a Christian. I'm talking like a child of God who is walking into the new day. How do you open your mouth and say you're healed? Can't you see you're sick? I don't know what you see. But I prophesy with the prophets. God says I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. So I say so, regardless how I look, feel, or sound. That is prophesying with the prophets. Hmm. Saul has turned into another man. Saul is one of the prophets. Yes, let it be said of you that you have turned into another man. You are now somebody who prophesies along with the prophets, who says what the word of God says about you in the face of circumstances regardless of what your five senses record. That is how you walk into the new day. You hear the proclamation and you repeat the proclamation. Glory be to God. You see, when you speak this way, you actually act like God. And you, because you plant his word in your heart. I'll just read some scriptures now to, to take this home quickly. Romans 4, 16. Therefore it is of faith that it might be according to grace, so that the promise might be sure to all the seed, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him whom he believed, God who gives life to the dead. How does he do that? And calls those things which do not exist as though they did. That is how you prophesy with the prophets. You call those things which do not exist. You act like God. You plant the seed even before it springs forth. In this new day, even before the things you're believing in for spring forth into visible manifestation, bring them forth with your mouth. Begin to call those things that be not as though they were. Begin to give life to them. You act like God. Someone says you're weird, then God is weird. Someone says you're a dummy, then it means God is a dummy. Because it says we act like God. And who's God? God is the one who calls those things that be not as though they were. And that's who you are, child of God. And when you do that, what happens? You create images. That's the power of prophesying. 
you speak about things and you begin to see them. And it is what you see. You know, you begin to speak, you begin to, you begin to see it. The Bible talks about, you know, being planted like a tree. Planted like a tree. You're actually seeing the end product in Psalm chapter 1. You're actually seeing the end product. It's a tree you're seeing. You're still planting a seed, but you're seeing the tree. You pick up the orange seed, you put it in the ground, but in your view is a big orange tree with heavy oranges. That's why you plant the seed. Because you know the seed is going to give birth and eventually give birth. It's going to sprout rather and eventually come forth. You're pregnant. You do a pregnancy test. Suddenly you see your child. You begin to buy things for your child. Your child is still a fetus in the womb, but you've seen the end product. You create images. Glory be to God. That's the power in your mouth, child of God. That's the power of prophesying along with the prophets. That's the power of Mark 11, 22, 24. It's what you say you will have continually. It's not what God says about you. It's what you say. So my question to you, child of God, at the beginning was, are you paying attention? My next question to you is, what are you saying? What have you been saying with your mouth? Is what you're saying bringing you into your new day? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The sun is indeed shining. It's the dawning of a new day in all our lives. We believe it. We hear you. We give attention to you. And we declare it along with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. You have so many questions about your life and life in general. Why? When? How? What? Who? And the list goes on. Brother, Jesus is the answer to every question and he loves you just the way you are. He loves you too much to leave you this way. He's knocking on the door of your heart. Will you make a decision for a change today to surrender your life to Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God? If you want to do that, say this prayer out loud, meaning it from the depth of your heart, according to Romans 10, 8 to 13, and you will be saved. Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I believe you are the Son of God and that you died for me and rose again just to save me. Come into my heart and make me brand new as you have promised. I will live for you all the days of my life. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Congratulations on taking the most important decision of your life. You are now born again and a brand new person. It has all happened on the inside of you. We can help you grow in your new faith so that what has just happened on the inside will surely be reflected in your everyday life. Please call us at 0700 fresh or email us at saved at fresh and we'll be here for you. Hello and welcome to Fresh Dew. You can now watch Fresh Dew with Pastor Nkechi Ene every day on My Faith TV from Monday to Friday by 9.30 p.m. West African time or 10.30 p.m. Central African time from the 1st of July, 2019. Child of God, seek to know the word of God. Seek to get a revelation for yourself. Find out more on our website, freshdew.tv. Fresh Dew, giving you fresh inspiration and direction for your life. It's Teen Camp 2019. Games. Career Day. Speak Out with Pastor Nkechi Ene and so much more. From the 24th to 28th of July 2019. I used to be very shy coming out in public, but now I'm so free with everybody. Registration forms are available at the Carpenters Team Church 
and the church office. Also available online at www.tcsquared.org. Deadline for form submission is the 30th of June 2019. The camp fee is 12,500 Naira with the following benefits. Transportation, comfortable accommodation with personal space, access to sporting activities, three healthy meals and snacks daily, barbecue and campfire nights, etc. Remember, this registration is open to church and non-church members. For sponsorship and inquiry, call 080-331-26081 or 0805-614-0294. Team Camp 2019. Cool stuff on the right track. Thank you for watching Fresh Dew today with Pastor Nkichi Ene. We trust you were blessed by today's episode. For further information on Fresh Dew, please call us on 0700 Fresh Dew, which is 0700 3737 4339. If you're calling from outside Nigeria, the number will be plus 234-700-3737-4339. Our phones are open from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. GMT plus one. You can also send us an email to info at freshdew.tv and we'll be glad to serve you. We also invite you to like, follow, and interact with us on our Twitter and Facebook pages at freshdewtv and also on Pastor Nkechi's Facebook pages at Pastor Ketch. For more information on how you can partner with Fresh Dew and receive Pastor Nkechi's monthly letters and weekly MP3 gifts, please visit our website www.freshdew.tv. Once again, thanks for being with us today and we look forward to seeing you next time on Fresh Dew to receive fresh inspiration and direction for your life.